Knife handling is the most essential technique and knowledge you need to be familiar with when you're prepping and cooking foods. However, some people even don't know how to use it properly and safely. This tutorial focuses on knife handling in particular and helps you to prepare your beautiful dish in a timely manner. Holding a knife in a proper way gives you maximum control over the knife and it increases your accuracy in cutting as well as preventing slipping. Use your middle finger, ring finger and little finger to hold the upper grip of the knife while your index finger touches the top edge of the blade. Imagine your knife is your extended fingertip and it gives you a full control while you wield the knife. The way you use your knife may differ in each situation what and how you cut things. But the very basic is to ensure your safety. Make sure not to leave your fingers along the cutting line. Always stay on the side or behind the blade. If you unavoidably put your hand in front of the cutting edge, like when you break down a fish, use extreme caution. Use your kitchen towel if necessary. The knife also needs to be sharpened adequately because a dull knife requires you to add unnecessary power to push forward, which may be more likely you lose your control on your knife direction. When you chop off small pieces, use the claw grip. Fingertips are curled under out of the way of the blade while holding the items being cut. In this way, you can control and guide the knife, as well as protecting your hand from being cut. Food items can be cut only with the sewing motion of the knife. Relax your arms, use the full length of the knife blade, quickly pull and push. If you try to push down the blade, the items can be cut in half, but it ruins the beautiful shape and structure. Some people hit the knife edge on the cutting board before cutting ingredients. Not sure they do so because it looks cool and professional, but this is totally opposite, and it just ruins the sharpness of the blade. When you're not using the knife, rest it on the right position. For more safety, put it parallel to the cutting board. Resting it vertically, you may hit the grip by accident. This is very dangerous. Also, use knives only you need for the prepping process. Spreading unnecessary utensils around your prepping area disturbs your work and slows down your performance. When you hand a knife to somebody else, once put it on the cutting board and then let them pick up. Sometimes people handing a knife directly to others can be seen, just like when you hand a scissors. But this is extremely dangerous since the knife blade is not fully covered. You may have a nice expensive knife and you may be so experienced in cutting and prepping food items However, remember, the workplace safety always comes first, and it relies on how you handle it. It relies on people and accomplished by people. That is why this is very important to follow the technique and manner and stick with the basics.